We've got breaking news. Border apprehension spiking to record highs, a 25% jump from fiscal 2017. That's happening now, 25% jump. President Trump is preparing to meet with Nancy Pelosi and Charles Schumer over what Pelosi calls an immoral border wall. Let's bring in former ICE acting director Tom Homan. Great to see you, sir. Good to see you. Now the Democrats are saying, you know what, let's delay the talk about funding for the border wall until 2019. The Republicans are saying, let's give Trump $25 billion. There's quite a split here, sir. Your take. Well, it's just, you know, it, I'm not surprised, but it's ridiculous. People like Nancy Pelosi, she, you know, they, they don't want to put a border wall up to keep illegal aliens, you know, out of the country, but she supports sanctuary cities and sanctuary state of California to keep them in. I mean, I've said it a hundred times. I don't care if you're Republican or Democrat. What's the downside on securing our border? It means less illegal immigration, less drugs. What's the downside? There is none. So her number one responsibility as elected representative is protect this nation and protect the U.S. citizens, and she's failing to do so because she's putting her own political hatred against this president over protecting America, which is her responsibility. And Charles Schumer was for border security, as, you know, 2013 yeah. and earlier. Go ahead. Yeah, Schumer voted for a border barrier back in 2006. What changed? President Trump is there. Look, they do not want to give this president a win. All right, That's you know, what it comes down to. And the it's their hatred of this president and his policies over public safety and national security. And it's terrible that, that, that they're doing this. And here's the other news breaking, that Latin America now has the world's highest murder rate. Your take on that? Well, look, Latin America, you know, it's, it's not a perfect place to live. It's certainly not as great as the United States. I mean, and, I, and I've said it a million times. Look, I, I can't blame anybody for wanting to come to this great country. It's the greatest country on earth. But there's a right way to do it and a wrong way to do That's it. That's the point. It, and you can't, you can't want to be a part of the greatest country on earth and not respect its laws. Not under this president. And I think he's right on this. We, need, we are a nation of laws. We have a right to protect our borders. And ICE officials keep saying sanctuary cities are a present and real public safety threat. Your word on that. Look, I've been fighting sanctuary cities for two years. Sanctuary cities are a danger to the public. To, re, to, to knowingly release a public safety threat back into the public, it's just, it's wrong. It's just, it's, it's stupid. Not when we can take these people who are in the country illegally and remove them, not only from the community, but from the country. And we got to remember, they say, well, they're protecting immigrant communities by creating sanctuary cities. No, because the criminal aliens you release from jail are going to victimize the very communities they live in, which is the immigrant community. And now that ICE cannot arrest that bad guy in a county jail, now we got to go to the neighborhood to arrest that bad guy, where they're going to find others who weren't even on the radar. So sanctuary cities does not protect immigrant communities. They put them at greater risk of ICE arrest. They put them at greater risk of crime. And at the same time, sanctuary cities entice more people to come to this country, and it bankrolls a very criminal organizations that have killed Border Patrol agents and ICE agents and, 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 and a cash flow to the cartels because cartels charge fees to work through the plazas. This is just terrible. There's no good, there's no good reason for sanctuary cities. Tom Holland, great None. to see you, sir. Come back soon.